Hello again. So we have most of the siding up on our little building here. You can see we've got our windows in place. We decided to do it the, uh, I don't know, the way the siding company says, just stick the window on and throw the siding over top of the flange and there you go. And then we'll uh, uh, caulk it, put some trim boards around it and caulk those in as well and there you go. Still kind of debating on whether I want to do uh, soffit boards or not and whether I want to cover these other boards up or just paint them for the fascia board. But, and then on this end here, we're going to have another fascia board that goes across. I don't know, it's still called a fascia board if it's on the side. <laughs> um, it goes across these and of course we'll have some more of those little uh, you know, vertically mounted boards, kind of like how our rafters are when they come out here. We'll have some more of those along here just to support that board primarily and to give a little more strength to the edge of our, uh, edge of our roof. Um, so, still debating though if I want to have soffits in there or just leave them, just leave them open. Still need to put the blocks up in the ends there, like right up in, oh, right, right there, so that things can't get through from inside the soffit into the attic, I guess. Um, but this stuff has worked out pretty good. This, uh, this uh, siding, the, the camera was called Smart Strand, I think. Um, I don't know, it's been pretty easy to throw up. And we have windows. This window was sitting around for like a year. It's got all kinds of sand built up on it. But yay, now we can get a breeze because we didn't have enough breeze through the wind or the door and you know the open roof <laughs> uh, anyway it's coming along everything's going as planned um, not quite sure if I do soffit boards I think I'll have to put some extra nailers along underneath the rafter there so I can have something to tack the uh, soffit trim onto I probably have to do that anyway because I'm gonna want some trim along the top of that siding so I can get rid of my rough edge but and unfortunately I didn't think to get longer sheets I probably could have got a 10 foot sheet and then I wouldn't have had to mess around with this but but at any rate I'm just gonna do a piece of trim over that and it'll look decent it's what they normally do every every one of the little uh, t111 sheds I've seen is done it that way you know just kind of go up the eight feet and put a piece of trim up and there you go any rate it's all up with screws I didn't uh, I was gonna mess around with my nail nailer and whatnot but I wasn't sure what kind of nails to use and what would work well so you can see them in here but a little bit of caulk over that and then once we paint it they'll, they'll disappear anyway that is that. Next project is going to be getting power all the way from our power building over there and trenching out a uh, line to run our our uh, 100 amp electrical service over to whatever <laughs> over there. I don't know exactly. We're gonna we're gonna run it over to where the future building will be uh, on the other side, and then we'll kind of branch out from there. So. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's uh, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and play some of the uh, time lapse of us getting things done here. And Oh, I need to bring you guys up and show you up on that hill there. I worked on a uh, uh, shade structure for Joe, so I'm going to show you that.
All right, so here's that shade structure we worked on earlier this week. Turned out pretty good. Um, still needs to get painted up and made pretty, but you know, worked out well. And uh, our neighbor Joe says he's gonna finish up this floor, so it's uh, completed all the way over to the other posts. And then he's talking about fixing up some of these uh, if you can really see the holes but like in here where some of the rocks have broken away and whatever this has been here for a long time there used to be a uh, like manufactured home type thing I don't know, trailer home or whatever here that burned down so so this used to be their I guess front porch or something actually let's see if we can find some of this there's like all kinds of uh, aluminum that melted down I think, no, oh, that's a piece of glass. <laughs> that out of the driveway. Well, now I can't find any. I always see it. Oh, wait, here we go. It's a little piece of aluminum. And that was from the, from the trailer home, like frame or siding or something that melted down. Anyway. That's that. Okay guys, so I did not manage to post that on Friday evening. It's now Sunday. We've got the uh, OSB on our ceiling, roof, whatever. So we're uh, relatively dried in at this point. There's some, I didn't get the blocks up there yet and we still have to do this stuff on the sides. But other than that, you know, the majority of the rain is gonna be kept out and that's a good thing because as I was putting the last two sheets up, it started raining. Oh, just one more thing. Well, a few more things. Went ahead and closed my door, Trilingua style. Piece of plywood with four screws, you know. And uh, from out here, you can see we got our fascia boards on the rest of the way. And we've got some extra little uh, boards in underneath for our soffits to attach to. Um, or soffit boards, whatever they're called, the trim boards. And then uh, I'll have to add some more trim board or some more. Uh, nailers underneath the rafters there so that we can hook the trim over top of the top part of our siding there and then of course this gap will be covered by my um, trim so it doesn't look quite so unfinished and same over here I'll have to put a piece right underneath the rafter to nail the trim onto and yeah but all in all it turned out pretty good um, only thing is, I, I don't know how I did this, but I'm off by about a half an inch in the middle. The, the uh, purlins, I ended up, I don't know, I was measuring them all careful and stuff, but I think my rafter was um, a little bit um, bowed. So, when I referenced against that one rafter, I ended up uh, being off by half an inch. <laughs> but, oh well. Perfect timing, it's about to rain, so time to go inside. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.